Hey. Hey, Nate. Hi, honey. Oh, hi. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Are you okay? Yeah, of course. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news. There's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no, uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're gonna need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Oh, uh, you know, you don't have to do that. That's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. So I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. the satellite saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. Still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the Internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but... I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in a chat room and talking to some guy in <laughs> Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Hmm. Not much to see here. Well, nah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4x4. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. cave behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we're on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? So, Victor, how is it that you know King's Bay so well, huh? Well, first time out here was for a swap. Stolen diamonds. <laughs> of course. The deal went bad and I got arrested. Ended up bribing the police chief. Again, of course. And in the process of negotiating the bribe, we, uh, we hit it off. And I made it a point to come visit every few years. Well, maybe we can preempt any trouble we might get into. Can you still reach out to him? Her. Once, 
We just saw the world in some places. Besides, it's been a few years since we've seen each other. Well, maybe time for a visit. Maybe. First, let's wrap this up. It's a note. All right, let's get moving. A little warning next time. You guess the first time in years I've had two showers in one day? That bridge there is what you would call rickety. I wonder who made these cairns? Must be a trail marker. Let's keep an eye out for them. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go! Ah! Thought this thing was all terrain. You gotta gun it before you hit the hill. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep, keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Let's see here. You see something? <laughs> so much for that rock pile. Technically, it's called a cairn. Yeah, I, I don't like to say that word. It just <clears throat> sounds weird. Care, cairn. <laughs> cairn. Nope, nope, I don't like it. Onward and upward. There we go. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. But with Nate being so eager, he doubled the price. He would have doubled it anyway. I'll bet we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. All right, hang on tight. Oh, oh shit! Hey, take this slow, kid. Yeah. So 
Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Look, that's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? Oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. <sighs> there. That ought to do it. <clears throat> whoa, whoa. <clears throat> well, that looked like fun. It's steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taking forever to get to this volcano. 
Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, it's still taking a long time. I'm gonna hop out for a look. See ya. Thanks for waiting. Be right back. Happy hunting. Shit, hit another cairn. Rock pile. Sorry, Sam Wright. Rock pile. Thank you. Ready, fellas? Oh, would you look at that? Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
Let's go, gentlemen. It's gonna be a hot, long day, and we have lots to do. Those Drake boys show their pretty faces. We all know what to do. We'll serve them right. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Hmm? What was it? Hey, you there? Someone took him out! They've got to be close! Where are you, asshole? I'm gonna find you! No, son. What do you think? Same. Nothing. Oh! Check over there. Go this way. Sure thing, buddy. Ah, shit! Reinforcements oh, inbound! Care.
Okay. I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Dean hasn't given up on excavation by explosions. Rafe can't be happy about that. I don't think Rafe has much of a say in the matter. Look, another sigil. Huh. Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison. A lot of books. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? One down, one to go. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Stay put. Later. All done. Easy. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. 
<laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. But Rafe's got the advantage there. Uh, one sec. You got something, kid? <clears throat> Ready to go. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. But they found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. You don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. It's pretty good. Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Ah, hell. Can't jump that high. Sam, you were saying? No, that's right, I was. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. Well, that would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal line. Hey, is that a well? Well, well, well. <laughs> Get it? You know, because... It's a well. Sully, you stole your joke. I noticed. Good sense of humor, though.
Damn, these pirates weren't messing around. Did you find something down there? Maybe. Do me a favor, get behind the wheel for a sec. Will do. Hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. Okay, give me a second. Nothing major. I'll show you back at the hotel. Sully, what were you talking about? Uh, yeah, so. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. So, pirate walks into a bar. Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, he's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Request. Every site needs to be documented before we use explosives. 
<laughs> it's like he doesn't trust us. Get out of the way and let me take the goddamn picture. Check it out, boys. What is it? Cool. Holy 
Shit, you can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. Well, let you look at this. Quite the view. <sighs> Just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. Oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. And especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. Someone worked very hard to stack those rocks. Guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Hey, what do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? A little out of place. But you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such as pirate treasure? Maybe. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Mm hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. Thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Check this out. The hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. Be careful, kid. Guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I see it. 
Dude, just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one price, you know? <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. that bridge down.
Try that again. There we go. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? Now, not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure in play. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. <laughs> You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners with him. There we go. We're all set. Here we go. Easy. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. No panic. No panic. I am very much. Sharing this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. Claim our treasure, boys. <sighs> Can't get in that way. Uh, 
Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Careful with that thing, kid. Heads up! God, Jesus! I said heads up! Victor, this way! He seems excited. Uh, he's got a lot riding on this. Don't see a treasure, though. Hey guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too, and that's, um... It's, it's Adam Baldridge, it's uh, Joseph Farrell, and it's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys. <laughs> Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery Sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here.
Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? He's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Location, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed, okay? Because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. It's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. no, no Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Uh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. If you run into any of those shoreline clouds, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. <laughs> 